this time to get all of this. So here we go. All right, guys, we got it all loaded up. Now let's just head on over to the boat. All right, you guys, here she is. Just got the snowy cover off. And time to take all this and put it in this. All that and put it in there. So here we go. We're gonna get loaded all up. And then I'm gonna go through some of the things that I'm gonna be doing here in the next month. So let's get to it. All right guys, welcome to the channel. I kind of want to go over a little storage of my bass boat. and something I'm really glad that I did this year. Um, basically, I had to take my boat in to get worked on. And while I did that, I took everything out of the boat and I went through all my stuff and got, basically took out a lot of stuff that I've never, I've never used and I'm never gonna use. You know, as, as, a, as fishing, goes and fishing tournaments and traveling across the country and things like that you, you don't want to have too much junk yeah it, it's a lot easier to stay organized knowing your th the things you're going to throw i don't need 20 colors of one bait you know i just need my essentials i need white white chartreuse green pumpkin crayfish color black and blue maybe some red bug on my plastics but the main thing is i went from having big boxes to downsize them let me show you guys I went to these smaller boxes here. You know, I got shallow crankbaits, jigs, half ounce, three quarter ounce, chatter baits. I got my accessories, top water, swim jigs, all my stuff. I went to these smaller boxes. I got like my shaky heads, wacky worms, heads, all my drop shot stuff, all in different little boxes here. Spinner baits. Got my square bills, big crankbaits. But again, look at all the extra space. This used to be completely filled. But since I was able to downsize the box, I realized how much those bigger boxes were just taking up more space. So I went to more boxes and smaller and downsized, and I got so much space in there. I mean, I got my rods in here, obviously, but now that I have that much space in there, all of this storage here, I, you know, I got my lure knocker in here, I got my my deep divers in here, my 10XDs, 6XDs, things like that. But I still have all this space. Same with over here, you know, I just got my safe face and things in here like that, some pliers. So it gives me room to add things if I need to. You know, I'm fishing in the winter. I can take my clothes off. If it starts warming up, I can throw them in here. It gives me a lot of space in here. I got life jackets, light poles. I got extra terminal tackle box in there extra reels and things like that. I got space in here as well. So again, the more you fish, the more you know what you're gonna use. And it just eases my mind to know that I have everything I need here. I don't have anything that I'm not gonna need weighing me down, having to organize it. I get to stay neat, I get to stay organized, I get to focus on what I'm there to do and the task at hand, which is catch fish, so. I don't know, just a tip, maybe downsize your tackle boxes. You can fit just as much. I mean, I have lipless crankbaits. I don't need a thousand of them. I just need, I just need a few. I need some half ounce, some three quarter ounce. And basically, you know, just a few select colors. So stay organized, stay neat, stay clean, don't stay messy. Makes you fish clean on the water. And there's your tip. All right, you guys, so now that I'm done with the boat, I'm done with getting everything put away, everything ready to go. All my stuff's in there. Everything's organized. I know where everything is. Let's go look at my truck. I basically also got this all organized and ready to go for heading to Louisiana in a week and a half for the TBF National Championship. Then I come back here and I get to fish the open on the James. But one thing went on the road 
I, I got to be able to have all the stuff that I might need. You know, I got, I went out and bought these totes and everything in here. I got straps, I got gear lube, extra reels. And my other tote back there, that's where I keep my electronics. I keep my electronics. I also throw winter clothes in there. And then in this tote right here, I just got extra oil. I got all the tools I might need in the toolbox. Some in here, some in the boat for anything. If I need to change a prop, fix something, you know, I got my spare tire back here. I got a jack in here too. Uh, I mean, I got a really good jack. I mean, I can basically, if I have a tire go out on me, I can basically probably switch my tire out in about 10 minutes. So that gets me off the highway, gets me back safe. But again, just a couple things that I've been trying to work on this year is the organization of the truck. It's just a lot easier when you're on the road. I mean, when you're at a hotel and it's 30 degrees and you're having to take stuff out of your boat and you're just laying it in your truck, it's just unorganized. It's not neat. It's, you know, it's 20 degrees outside. You don't want to be messing around too much. You want to know where everything is, not digging through your truck. You want to be fast. You want to be efficient. You want to be able to get back in the hotel, things like that. So... Again, just some tips that I've learned from being on the road last year. This year, up, upgrading a little bit, just trying to stay neat, try to stay organized, keep my mind clear, and fish clean. So, follow me along, subscribe to the channel. We're heading to Louisiana in two weeks. That's going to be some great content. I don't know if I'll post it before the tournament. I'll, I'm probably going to post it after the tournament. Tournament is March 7th, first practice, and then it goes through the whole that whole week. So that's going to be exciting. Going to be down there on the Red River. Be running around kind of right up my wheelhouse. So wish me luck and it's going to be fun. Stay along for the ride and here, let's, let's get to it. So I'm excited and it's going to be a good year.